What is going on fellas and welcome back to our 126 team rebuild here in NCAA 14. We're going to the Sun Belt today. We have not done a Sun Belt team. Couldn't resist once I found out we hadn't done a Sun Belt team yet. 4 and 8, 4 and 8, 10 and 3, 10 and 3. My goodness. All right. Also, the last stream we'll be doing without updated rosters. I promise you, I think I found some ones that I like. I'm going to check them out after the stream, see how they play out, if they're realistic or not. And if they are, they're definitely going to be the rosters that we go with from here on out. All right, let's check out this team. What are we rocking with here? Justice Hanson. I'm going to redshirt this quarterback. We're probably going to, I don't know, we're going to need him at a later date. What we're looking for right now, some freshmen that I can redshirt. I'm not really seeing it right now. We don't have a fullback. Did these guys not recruit last year? What's going on? We don't have a left outside linebacker. Oh, we do have Caleb Bonner. Nice. That's a good redshirt. All right, let's see what we got. We got some three stars. We got two Two, three stars we'll go another tight end why not take that tight end as well you never have too many tight ends 80 overall cornerback 77 all right and this is where we get our cheesy offensive lineman i'll give him a scholarship i'll give some of the crapper guys scholarships i do like marcus jackson though in the first year so this guy's only a 67 overall but by the time he's a senior red shirt he'd be what an 82 maybe an 82 overall which would be a it's always a solid backup to have um i do want to get thomas harden i do want to get james jackson we'll change it up well, let's go fullback the guard's not interested alonzo's not interested might be able to get claude we'll get the tight end and it looks like we're going to be able to get this cornerback james jackson 77 overall overwhelming lead for all of them all right Corey edwards we're gonna get him we're gonna get this athlete athlete oh we can't oh because the computer filled the board the bastards we at least we can get Corey edwards all right this guy is a 79 overall he looks like a quarterback as well with blazing fast speed i don't know what this guy is he's a wide receiver potential running back He's playing quarterback now. That's what I've decided for him, and whatever I say goes. So you are now playing quarterback. We did get Brian Nelson. We got Jimmy Smith. So I do like these low overall guys with the worst of teams that we do. All right, I'll take Alex Cox, the 74 overall strong safety. Corey Tyson's not interested. Get off. For some reason, we're leading for all these guys. I haven't invested any points into them. We're leading on all of them. AJ Jackson looks like that dude. So does Scott Munoz. He's a 78. John Edwards. All right, we got some really, really good low lock people here. This is pretty rare that you get 280s like this. AJ looks like a running back with good speed as well i'm just gonna lower the points on antoine brooks a lot like a lot a lot alonzo looks like he's in the bag claude bell unfortunately not gonna be signing with your arkansas state whitefish all right we've got some people ready to visit we do pick up tyler ferguson and marcus jackson there were surprisingly a lot of low lock people so that will help Oh, Scott Neal doesn't have a scholarship, though. No wonder he didn't sign. All right, John Edwards wants to commit. Alex Cox wants to commit. Scott Munoz. The low lock cheese is amazing. We're going to have probably one of the best recruiting classes in the country with just these four guys alone. So we went six and six. Our target wins per year is seven. So we're not in risk of being fired yet i'm happy about that guarantee national title this is such a troll the team is my family coach i'm not ready to leave he's staying he's a senior though i don't understand or is he a senior this season we just literally lost like 20 30 people right there we just went six and six against mediocre talent how could you think in a million years this team's ready for a natty when we got worse trey swilling the freshman cornerback from georgia tech is interested in signing you lied straight to his face <laughs> i did lie straight to his face I, I told him we're gonna win a natty and his dumb ass believed it um let's go five and a half thousand let's just go let's go five and a half oh we pick up caleb simpson john edwards so we just got like three quality wide receivers and we have a running back of the future in caleb simpson sign a top 10 class sign top class in conference wow okay nice we got the ninth best class in the country we got one five star six four stars we do have some low overall people as always fullback cornerback strong safety we got a punter I didn't remember that. We got a guard, two athletes, our quarterback of the future, 80 overall wide receiver. Like, just freakishly good, man. Freakishly good people. Oh, we have three people who can play quarterback. Simpson can play quarterback as well. He's He looks pretty good. It's either between Simpson or Edwards. Who's a better overall? He's a 78 quarterback. He's an 80 quarterback. Caleb Simpson. All right. Well, he's definitely going to be the quarterback for our team. 
AJ Jackson has to play wide receiver. He's an 80. Running back, we have John Edwards. He's going to get redshirted anyway. We still don't have an outside linebacker. At strong safety, we're going to redshirt Alex Cox. Let's go ahead and put this guy over a free safety. Make that a bit more balanced. Big Clifton dominating the team. 92 overall. Blake Mack. I mean, all of these guys are seniors though. You know what I mean? So the only players that we can get here are sophomores. Like real sophomores, you know? Which is nobody here essentially. The best player we're going to have is Trey Swilling. Who was redshirted this year. I, I don't like it anybody here we need for the second year i like to at least grab 70s and it doesn't look like any 70s are interested willie alvarez might be a decent pickup all right well that kind of sucks we got four people we really need to get some linebackers see look at that that's a yikes that's a major yikes let's take greg hayes damn that's a dt i want to get bubba clemens all right whoever's interested in my school always turns out to be a trash can wide receiver isn't like super big brad richards i'll take that brandon kimbro that sounds like somebody who plays for arkansas state marcus Stephens, i'll take that kevin pratt might be related to uh the guy from jurassic world We're gonna have a celebrity on the team which would be kind of cool all right gary reynolds looks like he's got his heart content willie hagan looking like he's gonna go to ohio state so screw that guy uh i don't like this class at all guys i'm not gonna lie 75 athlete keon montoya that is undoubtedly probably the coolest name i've heard so far doesn't that just sound like a, a heisman candidate i'm gonna get this quarterback just in case uh our quarterback decides he gets homesick and wants to go back to texas state I don't know what this guy is, but he's got an A jumping. This guy is a 94 jumping. What is he jumping from? He's a running back? He's a running back and a wide receiver. Sounds like a NASCAR driver, lol. A NASCAR driver, Kiyomo. I mean, you're not wrong. All right, so there's our three people right there. Woo, damn. We got Marcus Stevens, Stephens, Bubba Clemens. We got the lead for Keon Montoya. I think we broke the myth as well. I don't think it matters where they are on your board. Uh, can we have somebody who's not a wide receiver? Is that a possibility at all or... Oh, never mind. The 18% locked is full of wide receivers as well. Awesome. I love, I love just getting nothing but wide receivers. Oh, wait. Did I see middle linebacker? We did. 71 billy brooks brandon kimbro is a 79 left tackle he signs kevin pratt nice the class we need o lineman i like it oh we're ranked season two arkansas state red wolves let's take this kicker why not because everybody here is a wide receiver oh my goodness what is with the outside linebackers in this class they are trash oh willie goodwin goes up but uh you know once again a wide receiver definitely not the position i'm looking for right here but you know what like the game just says screw it there's a million wide receivers in this class and uh you have to get one of them you have to get one of them we're going to take this guy off the board completely. And uh, we're going to give Thomas Muhammad a scholarship and 500 points. The class is really good though. Athlete, tackle, tackle, tackle. All right, Raymond Owens, Ostrander. Coach of the year finalist. 50 touchdown season. We're not going to look at their stats though because there's no point. Uh, we are taking on Tulsa. We are 10-2. That's really, really good. We had a good conference record. We beat the shit out of Tulsa. Wow, that's uh, quite an improvement from 6-6 six and six to 11-2. and two. Nice little ball record there as well. I like what I see. We're ranked 12. We're losing Big Clifton right now. That's a problem for us. I think we're losing our quarterback too. I saw quarterback and I freaked out just then. But it's Alden Clark. He's a waste of time. I'm going to promise him he will pass more than 500 times. And I'm just going to lie to him. Don't try and talk me out of this. I've made up my mind. All right, bro. No worries. Go have fun at ULM. I'll enjoy beating you 52 to 7 like I did last season. I'm not too sold on any of these people. I mean, I don't even really want Billy Goodwin, to be honest. 14... 1,975 into Kelvin Ostrander. He's the best player there. We finished 31 in terms of the best class. A lot of four stars, not any five stars. We go to a four prestige, 90 offense. Our offense pretty good. Pretty dang good. Ooh, the quarterback's not even going to start. I think I am going to start Caleb Simpson because I don't want him to leave. Really good throwing stats. And he's got 96 excel, 95 speed as a freshman. And we haven't even seen him go up yet. That's uh, that's crazy right there. Can this guy play? Oh, he can. We need a free safety. That works out amazing for us. We're in dire need of a free safety. We just signed Ostrander. Strong safety. We've got a freshman starting. So that's cool. He's going to go up to like an 80-some. I think I'm going to start the freshman as well. I'm pretty happy. This team is full of speed freaks. All right. Warren Wand, the running back out of Hogwarts in high school 98 overall 
Unfortunately, he will be leaving us this year, but that's cool. Right guard, right, blah, 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 blah. Oh, look at all these freshmen, though. Scott Munoz is going to be... By his senior season, he's going to be a 99. AJ Jackson is going to be... We're going to have two 99 receivers. Uh, we're also going to have a 99 quarterback in our final season. Yikes. I would be scared of this team. Our receiving core is going to be three 99 overalls. And Keon Montoya. Uh, let's get this middle linebacker. Let's get this outside linebacker. We're kind of at the point of the rebuild now where we're going to start... There's like a limit to the amount of trashness a player can be for us to pick him up, you know? I kind of like this Juco right here. Uh, let's take this athlete five-star. Let's take... Let's take a cornerback. We have a left outside linebacker, but we don't have a middle linebacker or a right outside linebacker. We also really need... I think it was D-line as well. I think our D-line is a little bit trash. Come on, man. Give me something to work with. Give me... Give, give chat something to be excited about. I want Eric McDonald, and I want him now. I want Eric McDonald. He's an 82 overall Brian Johnson. Hopefully their bonus doesn't drop. I still don't understand why that happens. But I'll take all of these guys if they're willing to sign. We want Brian Johnson. That is our, I mean, 82 guard. Let's take Marshall Mitchell, Dan Walker, because we need defensive tackle more than anything. All right, Brian Johnson's interested. Marshall Mitchell, no, not so much. We're going to get Sean Sullivan. That's kind of cool. This is the guy I want the most, Dan Walker, Johnny Walker's brother. You know what? That's fine if he's a junior. You are completely right with that. All right, we have two athletes here, Richard Thomas and Mark Williams. We also have Derek Jean. I'm going to get both of these guys. One's rated fifth in the entire class, 116. I'm not even going to bother scouting these guys because I feel like the points wasted won't be worth it. I'm just going to give him a scholarship straight up. I'm going to give him a scholarship straight up and give him 700. Brian Johnson, 82 right guard, signs with us. Sean Sullivan, the 78 cornerback. Out of this entire board right here, if there were three people I would want, it would be the DT, the cornerback, and the right guard. We got everything we wanted right there. All right, we are 5-1, ranked 18th in the nation. Both of these guys are a top 20 player. We're going to get both of them. All right, we'll take Mark Johnson. Jack. That sounds like a Tekken fighter, but you know what? We'll take Mark Jack. I'm not going to bother scouting him. I don't think there's a point. 10 and 2, and we're ranked 11 in the nation. We're taking on 6 and 6 Kent State. I, I love how they just keep underestimating us. We lost to Oklahoma by 4 points. We're ranked 12th. We go and take on Kent State. Like, hello? So we should be a 5-star prestige now. We finished rank 6. We are looking to go to the Natty, that is for sure. All right, so Arkansas State entering season four. That's two. That's back to back 11 and two seasons. This class isn't too great, but we got what we needed. That's the important thing. I like Mark Jack. I don't like anybody else though. Let's drop. Let's go straight into him, honestly. Injuries offers the play, definitely. I don't know if Tennessee is literally cursed in this game, but we were 99 overall. Like, offense 99, defense 99, overall 99. And we went 6-6 six and six in back-to-back -back seasons, taking on, like, FCS teams and shit. <laughs> I don't understand it. Richard Thomas, we don't need a quarterback. We don't need a... Wow. He's an 81 at wide receiver. I guess he's going to have to go to receiver. This guy is an 80 overall free safety. Uh, he's a 79 strong safety. We don't need a safety though. I would rather this guy play linebacker. As much as that seems like a waste. This is our quarterback. Sophomore, 93 overall, 98 excel, 97 speed. Free safety is going to be leaving, but we've got a backup for him. AJ Jackson, the sophomore, he's going to be 99 senior season. So is Munoz. James Jackson's going to be probably a 99 by next season. Oh, sorry, in senior season. Sorry, NACA 94. What am I talking about? Arkansas State has uh, come a long way. It's got a lot of very solid... That quarterback, though. We start off the season ranked 18. I'm going to redshirt this left tackle because we could use him next year, obviously. We're going to be missing a center. Let's redshirt this junior. We're really, really good on the O-line. Our right end's going to be pretty sloppy. Not going to lie. All right, we got Bonner for next season as well. Our middle linebacker is going to be trash. We're going after the top guys. I want this athlete. We need linebackers though. Four-star DT, four-star DT, I'll take it. Linebacker, I'll take that. Schmidt, Eric Schmidt, the athlete. Okay, there are three stars. We're looking for four stars because we got a big schlong now. I'm going after Curtis Jack. I'm going after all of these guys. Isn't 50 Cent's name Curtis Jackson? All right, two busts in a row. Excellent. That's what we like to see from... Uh, the two defensive tackles that are interested in coming. Eric Schmidt. He goes up to an 81. He has 96 acceleration. 98 speed. He has insane zone coverage. What a beast. What an absolute freak that guy is. 
Okay, none of these middle linebackers are doing it for me. We go balls to the wall in season four. We don't play around. We go after the big dogs. We go after the 80s, the 79s, because next year is our last season, and there's no point signing 68s because they ain't going to do shit on our team, even though I just gave one a scholarship. Curtis Jackson, a.k.a. the white 50 cent, is 80 overall with a 300 bonus. We need middle linebackers, and we need them now. Jared Miller is also getting a scholarship. What's the Australian equivalent? Uh, a didgeridoo. So you would need to get my didgeridoo number if you wanted my social security, so to speak. For some reason, Kirk Herbstreet is rocking with us. Keeping it OG. We are a 91 overall, 95 offense, 87 defense, which means... Wait, what do our jerseys look like? Hold on a second. Oh, oh, are you joking? This is what our jersey looks like? Oh man, that is nice. No, I like the teams that have the colored socks. It's so rare, so few teams have it. Ah, oh, get out of here, Auburn. I'm going toilet. <laughs> Shat himself. Imagine. I knew it. I knew we'd lose to Old Dominion. All right, our offensive coordinator is still on the team. That's a shame. We sign Eric Schmidt. Uh, of course, Schmidt would be the one to sign to the team. We're not ranked. Oh, we're four and two. Yeah, no, you're right. We got the lead on Kevin Clark, lead on Andre Robinson. How do we not have the lead on this guy? Like, what is your obsession with Oregon? You're from Florida. Why would you want to go to Oregon? That doesn't make any sense, you idiot. Uh, unfortunately, Jason Outlaw uh, will not be joining the squad as he has locked us out. Same as Mr. Mullins there. Did I not say the Raj and Karjans would knock us off? So we are four and three after going 11 to back to back years. Seven and five. We will be getting a bowl game, which is good. We do get a head coach point as well, but we will be changing this over for season five. Ironically, the team that we will more than likely be taking over tomorrow, Boise State, was ranked 13th. We'll be taking them on. All right, Kirk Herb Street is going to be rocking with us because we are the better team. Our defense is slacking though. Like our defense is really, really slacking. Hey, we beat Boise State 34 to 21. Let's go. I mean, pretty good, pretty good. 11 to 2, 11 to 2, 8 and 5. 4 and 0 versus rivals. 6 and 2 versus the top 25. All right. Right, Darion Jackson uh, is going to the draft, projected fourth round. We lose a lot of players, but we're cool. Logan Bonner is going to leave. Transfer request isn't important. All right, 50 Cent locked us out. A lot of people locked us out. Feels bad, man, but we're all right. Sign the top class in the conference. Not that that's really prestigious effort. We've been doing that all day. Schmidt is going to play 81 free safety. Uh, let's get you in a wide receiver. You're an 82. 84, 85, there we go. We've got an 84 offensive line, 85, 84, 82, and 82. I'm happy with the O-line. The left end's kind of shit, but it's all good. All right, so everybody's favorite part, training results. Checking it out. We have two 96 overall wide receivers, a quarterback who's a 99, strong safeties a 95, cornerbacks a 94. Our third string wide receiver is a 93 overall. This team is scary good, especially coming out of the Sun Belt. There's not many teams that would be able to challenge this. We're going to have level three gang signs, fellas. Check it out. I wish our coaches were a little bit better. So season five, we do not recruit if you are new to the series everything goes to one the computer is free to sign the trashest players they can all right let's start the season what are we waiting for flop your shlongs out boys get your shlongs in your hand arkansas is a plus overall a plus offense b plus defense i wish the defense was a little bit better but that's okay we have a 99 offense a 90 overall defense and we are a 97 overall so arkansas is the real deal all right let's test out what the team looks like Oh, his juke is like really fast though. Okay, I like this guy a lot. That was a tight window. He got the pass in there, he can get out the pocket. So checking out the team going to our final season, Caleb Simpson, the All-American, 99 acceleration, 98 speed, 99 overall. What a beast. Running back is 90 overall. John Edwards' backup is Antoine Brooks, 81 overall. Fullback's an 88 overall, which is actually pretty crazy. Wide receivers are 96, 96, 93. The funny thing is they're all juniors. They would be 99s next year. Left tackle's an 88, 90. The offensive line is... 
pretty solid the whole way across. Left end's an 85, right end's a 77. So the D-line is trash. Left SI linebacker an 89, middle linebacker and right are trash. Cornerback is really good, solid all around. Free safety, 89. And strong safety's a 95. Why? We're so good. We have a 99 offense. I don't know why we hired that level one, bro. This rebuild was so promising, it was. We're not even ranked. We have level three gang sign. Oh, great. We got Old Dominion and the Rajan Karjans. Eight and two is not bad. We're on a pretty big win streak. Wow, look at that. 6,000 offensive yards. Our quarterback must have been on another level. All right, so we finished 10 and two, which is like our older seasons. We finished 15th in the nation. Not what I would have liked, but half of the players on this team are still juniors. So we'd still have a next year. So realistically, next year would be the best year to do this simulation. But it is a five-year rebuild. I'm not going any more than this. I've got a life. I need to go in the sun for a minute. And we take on 8-4 and four FIU. Quarterback Caleb Simpson had a 200 passer rating, 3,654 yards, 41 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. That is an insane season. On the rushing end, he also picked up 587 yards and 7 touchdowns. He had over 4,000 total yards and 46 touchdowns total. Our running back Brooks had 13 touchdowns. Edwards had 754 yards and 7 touchdowns. Uh, not bad though, not bad. On the receiving end, Scott Munoz, 96 overall, 1,255 yards, 17 touchdowns. Brian Nelson, the junior tight end, put up 12 touchdowns. This guy underperformed like crazy, man. AJ Jackson only had 659 yards, six touchdowns. Munoz definitely the MVP of the wide receivers. Completely dominated. Blocking, pretty straightforward. Nobody let in more than 10 sacks and nobody got less than 10 pancakes. Nice. On the defensive end, Caleb Boner with 69 tackles. He had 13 TFLs. Jimmy Smith, 64 tackles, 20 TFLs. Nothing too impressive on sacks. TFL's pretty crazy. I like to see it. It shows that we did have somewhat of a dominant defense. Pretty even on tackles as well. I would have liked to have seen somebody crack 80, but not much you can do about that. 69 is, you know, that's fine. That's fine. Tyler Ferguson was actually the leader in solo tackles. So let's go ahead and finish it off with this bowl game. Arkansas is clearly the better team. Kirk is still going to rock with FIU. We lost in week one to Bama, lost to Mississippi State. But other than that, we were just dropping 50 bombs left, right, and center. A 35 to 19 win. I would call that a success from 6 and 6 to 11 and 2, 11 and 2, 7 and 5, 11 and 2. 8 and 5, sorry, and 11 and 2. So that's not bad. We definitely increased our overall record as a coach in this thing. So just like that, fellas, we finished 11 and 2. Not sure what our ranking is. We will find out in a second, though. If you are watching on YouTube, hopefully, guys, enjoy. Thank you for the support on this series. You guys have been awesome. I'm really enjoying it. Twitch chat is really enjoying it. Hopefully, you guys are too. That being said, if you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And for me personally, I'm out. Peace. Never know your words.